I'm training to be a knight. Every kid wants to be a knight. Sink or swim, hero. I'm putting a pool table in your bedroom and fucking your mother on it. Sounds like both of you have dreams that won't come true. Crossing Swords is the story of Patrick, this little peg figure here, and his journey to become a squire. The deeper he gets, the more he realizes that everything's just completely screwed up. This is a cesspool. A cesspool of shrimp cocktail. I've never really seen any kind of stop animation like this. I mean, certainly not Gumby, but the Lego movie, that's for damn sure. The show is meant to be really fun and colorful, but in an adult way where there's a lot of mayhem. <laughs> This show is unique because it's actually stop motion as opposed to most other animation, which is now all computer generated. Stop motion, it's a little bit janky and a little bit stylized. And Patrick, he has a lot of imperfections, and I feel like together they go hand in hand. Uh, why do we have to strip for this? Who cares? Now line up according to Bulge. There's something nostalgic about watching it, and they're super funny, too. Just stare at their tits! <laughs> In this case, it's perfectly appropriate. I find it really funny and ridiculous and dirty and surprising as well. The comedy of Crossing Swords is, I'd say, like Mel Brooks on bad salts. Ross, did you find Blossom? No, but I did find a lot of drugs. I am a big fan of filthy comedy. <laughs> he threw mud in my face! That was not mud. We have an incredible voice cast. We're really elevating what's on the page. We just played around until we found something that sounded like it would come out of this little guy. My girlfriend's evil and I'm covered in shit! I'm working through some residual anger! It's like these toys are coming to life. You take your favorite fantasy stories and then just add a ridiculous twist. You have these play school figurines saying fucking shit and piss. Holy fucking ass crackers! And they're all humping each other. It's fantastic. Ah!